Jackson Mayanja, a legend at KCCA Football Club, coming into his fourth league game in this club. Never won the league championship as a coach against Alex Sabine, one of his prodigies at URA many years ago. Former league champion with NC Villa as a player, but also champion as a coach with URA, the last championship that URA ever won in 2011. Clash here at the St. Mary's Stadium in Kitende in what is arguably the greatest game of football in the land in the Star Times Uganda Premier League. Vipers against KCCA Football Club in what is expected to be the decider in where the championship could head for the 2022-23 season. There is no love lost between these two sides and of course we don't expect that that will be showcased in any other different way than that. These two teams have battled on for the last five or six years for the championship and between them they've been able to share five of those championships of the six that have been, that have been contested over the last six years. A great good evening to you all, our ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are at watching the Star Times Uganda Premier League. And we'd like to welcome you to another live broadcast here at the St. Mary Stadium in Kitende, where the temperatures are going high and high by the minute. But also to help him as we get underway, it is the big one here in Kitende. Vipers Sports Club against uh, KCCA Football Club. The reverse fixture here last season ended 2-2 following uh, a late dramatic strike by uh, the deputy goalkeeper. Also a former player, Vipers. As Milton Kalisa finds uh, Zau Lutimba. Milton Kalisa shoot! But then there's another shot that he can stop the post from Abu Bekar Lawal. And KCCA survived. There was no signal of offside from the assistant referee. And what a guilt edge opportunity that was for Vipers to take the lead against the run of play. And then a shot coming in now from uh, Martin Chiza. But it's well smothered by the goalkeeper and Jackson Mayanja not happy about the way his players are reacting. Just doesn't seem to be happy by the call made by the referee here. He thought that maybe there was an infringement on his player and therefore play should have been stopped. Let me look at the replay. I don't think there was anything big in that. That was a good opportunity for Abu Bekar wow, That should have ended in the back of the net. And he clearly looked offside. It very well set up there. You can't imagine that he could have missed from that range. In fact, it was easy. Rogers Mato finds a... Julius Perez, Alan and Younger playing international. Mustafa Kiza is kicked to possession there by Milton Kalisa. Who delivers a good cross there. But then it will find uh, Dennis Iguma. Who just fails to control the ball. But he gets a return pass there. He gets into the penalty and he shoots. Right on target. But then the goalkeeper, Fabian Mutobra, saves. And There's actually a jam on the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> See the aggression there, Jermaine. There's another thing. They lose possession in the second. It place and a good chance there for Vipers, but then the goalkeeper, uh, Benjamin uh, the space that is still in the ground, you feel that uh, that's the kind of space that the people that outside would have occupied. And that's uh, at the end, money lost by by the club. Chance comes up here and the ball is taken away on the attack. And Benjamin Ochan is besides himself. Mustafa Mujuzi turbaned and looking a bit like a mummy. A referee. Seems to have a very different idea of proceedings. Benjamin Ochan there, we might want to have a replay to give you a fair understanding of what prompted that particular outburst. KCC were caught in sixes and sevens. Another day. Well, I think they were saying that it can't be a corner kick because um, Karimu Dugwa, um, as he attempted the volley, he took the ball out. So they are wondering how it could be a corner kick. Uh, that is coach of the month. Alongside Jackson, Nelly Magera and Jim. Go play good. Looking to chip the ball in. Trying to get this one rolling in. Here comes Martin Kiza. Crosses the ball in. Almost miscuing that one. Karim Dubwa should have done better as the ball is flipped in. Looking an hour and it is still nil nil. Vipers nil. nil. KCC nil. It is one hour of action. And we want to remind you that the race 
is on. KCC at the moment ascend to the summit of the start time. Oh my goodness. Well, did my, you see that? Oh my. Did you see that? And incident? now Toraj and Fabian are going at loggerheads. As a referee, what do you do here? As a referee, what do you do here? Abekala Wall asking for calm to prevail. Martin Kiza playing peace in case you missed now, it. Now, that is a penalty, I'll tell you. Mukunani that incident by Roger Storach, that foul, if we had VAR, that would be a stone cold We penalty. might want to take another look at that, Mr. Director, just in case. We might... Oh, my... What? Wow, look at the lambasting. I'm telling you, Fabian Rogers knows Torak. he was the one big. Mr. Customer Care, Moses Weiswa. Touch one to Iguma, former Victoria University player. Sets the ball up! What a shot! And the ball hits the upright and rebound over the bar! Oh my goodness! I need to catch my breath right now. That, that was it! That was it! That was it! What an opportunity for KCC here, but just look at the persistence. They are coming in from Saidi Manja and his contribution. And then it lands at the foot, the left foot of um, Alan Okello. We know how dangerous he can be from those positions. And um, Vipers can uh, count their lucky stars here. Of all players, the little magician, of all people, the most potent player. Well, here comes Mr. Customer Care, Moses Weiss, Randy Odi, setting it on. Touch one to Geoffrey Waswa. And here comes the magician, Okello! Yeah, well, he left the advantage. The referee left the advantage because he wanted to blow the whistle for the earlier infringement on uh, Saidi Mayanja. But then when he realized that uh, Alan Okello had got the ball, he let play continue. Colton Carissa now taking matters into his own hands as he looks for the cross and that was a bit of desperation and that's a corner end-to-end -end action Jermaine ladies and gentlemen you have you absolutely to no minute to blink yeah to a... the only viable reason for you to move a muscle is if you're getting yourself an ice cold personal lager well just... personal lager <laughs> is the official beer brand of the start times again premier league stand tall straight on your time is now but what a match we have the whole Sports map Club of this Villa, game Sports but um, the two coaches felt actually when i talked to the two coaches they felt that uh, it was probably not the title decider well here comes the chance alan okello getting into the space but let's that roll that was a good opportunity but point i thought maybe that should have been a corner he seems to be questioning and why the, the KCC fans had already <laughs> got up eh? they know <laughs> what the little magician we get another chance to look at this one the congolese magnifico combining well with alan okello a nice one too and you ask That's yourself he lost control of it he wanted probably to pull it back onto his stronger foot yeah, yeah. cut back onto the left side and uh, um, Sending a Climb. swap to an offensive player, and that is Asaidi Manjas because he's been taking KCC forward a lot of times. Chance! Shot blocked away! Hey! Blocked again! Looking for another replay! And here comes another chance here coming in for Vipers. That was a good opportunity for Vipers to take the lead uh, on the ascendancy. Into Marisa, trying to find the pass and uh, look at a wall. And what an opportunity this Short. is! from distance still in play and a chance here it could be teased in Carissa blocked away my oh my will we see a goal here tonight well, I guess at that. <laughs> my word oh Jesus Christ how much more I do dare say the fans that paid their tickets are done your money's worth is over that moment of intimacy and intensity is guaranteed a full price. Yeah, I'll tell you that uh, from the kind of opportunities that have fallen to the two sides, uh, KCC and Vipers, and uh, the chances that they've missed, you get a feeling that this is destined to end in a draw. Bian and Simbe, given a choice, I would want to walk away from this game right now because I have a feeling if anything happens in the next seven minutes, it might cause me more... Chance comes up here! Goal Celebrations galore! They were waiting for the inevitable! The Venoms creep! It is another!
the poison in here. And my, oh my, what a time to score. When your opponents have little time to strike back, Benjamin Ochan may be questioning what exactly happened. We have the replay. Ball was played in swiftly. Nice touch. Brushed off. Milton Carissa. When has the captain not stood up for this game? Well, he scored the winning goal for Vipers against KCCA last season at uh, the MTL Omodi Stadium. And he pops up with what should be a title decider and a game winner. And I'll tell you that this shows just how big a player he is for this side. Well, it's just a minute left to play this game. Milton coming and flip of the coin. Ball brought in. Magambo loses it. The referee allows play. Shot coming in. He didn't. But the referee brings it to a close. And the celebrations from the Venoms will tell you the entire story. It might look like a championship celebration. They might not be on top of the table, but my work has the juggernaut of Viper Sports Club delivered at the best possible moment. They have been accused of coming up short sometimes. They have been accused of not replicating how much is invested in them. But when the stakes were down and the biggest point was on, the captain, Milton Carissa, who's now getting jostled in the air, delivered at the biggest point. He might walk off a bit wounded. He might walk off a little limping. We are hoping there might not be any ugly incidents at the end of the game. As the stewards here are making sure nothing short and shows. Congratulatory handshake from me, Amir Mayanja, admitting that he was bested this time. That it is a painful defeat for KCC to take. And there's a red card where we might want to, we might want to get a proper understanding of who got that red card. I hope, given the perspective here, Shungu Kankonde gets a straight red. Ladies and gentlemen, are you not entertained? Are you not satisfied? Will the drama relent? The title race is on. It's here on Sanyuka Prime. It's brought to you by MTN, the official broadcast sponsor. As the two teams are on the pitch and still battling out for how they want to handle this one, it's full time at the St. Mary Stadium in Chitende. It is Viper Sports Club one KCC Football Club nil. Well, as I